Today we're gonna make Frito Misto. This is one of my favorite things to snack on while drinking a salty, fresh, crisp white wine. We're gonna do a combination of fish and vegetables. So we're gonna fry sardines, squid, artichokes from the garden, some asparagus, and make a little lemony, garlicky aioli to dip into it. First thing we're gonna do is make our aioli. This is gonna be the sauce we'll dip our Frito into. We'll use one clove of garlic. So the rule of thumb is that one yolk can hold about one cup of oil. These are eggs from our farm here, so the yolks are pretty small, so I'm doing two just to be safe. And we're gonna save our whites because our whites are gonna become a part of our fry setup. For this, you don't wanna use too strong of an olive oil. Um, you can use a combination of olive oil and neutral oil. You definitely don't wanna use a rancid oil. So we probably have about three quarters of a cup of olive oil in here and it's looking a little tight, so I'm gonna loosen it with some lemon juice. I only taste great. We'll set that aside and start prepping our vegetables and fish. So the first thing you wanna do is remove the tentacles. You'll feel there's a little beak right here in the middle of the tentacles. You wanna cut just above the eyes so you don't cut into them because those there's an ink sac in there. Flip it around and get rid of that little beak. We don't wanna eat that. So there's our tentacles. And with the back of our knife, hold the head and then use our left hand to pull the body away. Get rid of that. Now there's a little quill right here. So we'll hold that again with the back of the knife and pull the body. That should come out. And then still using the back of your knife here, we're gonna squeeze out all the inner bits. And then we'll go through and cut this into rings to fry. Now we're gonna prep our artichokes and asparagus and get those ready to fry. And for these, I'm just gonna cut them in quarters. I've turned on the fry oil to start heating that up. And while that's warming, let's prep our asparagus. I'm gonna cut some thin lemon slices to fry them off as well. To do this method of frying, we're gonna have a wet mix and a dry mix. So in our wet mix, we're gonna have our egg whites. We're gonna use three egg whites and one cup of sparkling water and just whisk that together. To make our dry mix, we're gonna just use equal parts all-purpose flour and rice flour and a pretty generous pinch of salt. Mix that up and start frying. First, we're gonna fry our vegetables because those will hold their crunch a little longer than the fish. So to fry these ingredients, because they're so small, we'll heat our oil to 375. So first we'll put our asparagus, a good handful of them, into the wet mix. Now transfer them over to the dry, and we can do this in smaller batches than what I've put in the wet already. Shake that around. And when you're frying, like this, you always want a wet hand and one dry hand so you don't get clumpy claw hands. Now shake off any excess flour and we'll drop it in. Okay, these have been frying for about 45 seconds and they look great. Now we'll fry our lemons. Again, you want to cook these really well. Now we're going to fry our sardines. So get them in the wet. These are looking good. Now it's time to fry the squid. Frying squid is not for the faint of heart. They can get a little poppy. So you wanna make sure you coat them really, really well in the flour. Cause squid are innately really wet creatures. For real, Lance. Here we go. Crush your fingers. These are looking great. They've been frying for about a minute. It's really smells like the ocean. Now we get to taste it. <laughs> I'm excited. Try a tentacle. It's 
the best. That's what I want to eat every day. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this whole thing. 